First things first, we're gonna have to uh, simplify this. Uh, so let's, let's do this. After we um, simplify it as much as we can, we're gonna wanna make this equal to zero. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna subtract three X uh, squared plus 12. So let's subtract that um, from this. So it's gonna come out. After that, um, we're going to subtract this from this, so um, zero. Alright, so now we're going to want to factor it. Um, so set it equal to zero, and now we're going to get plus two equals zero or x minus five equals zero. Also it can be x equals two or x equals five. So suppose the population for each time t years after 2004 is given by the function. Um, so pretty much a is asking in 2004 what is the population of Bridgetown? So, um, kind of is already giving it giving it to us because the initial um, population or the initial amount is 40,000. So it's pretty simple. So it's actually just going to be 40,000. Give me your answer right there. Um, and for B, does the population increase or decrease? And as you can see here. Um, it's decreasing because it is a decimal point, uh, 0.72, so it will be decrease. All right, so since the percentage decreases and how much it decreases by, we take 100 minus 72, and that would be 28%. minus two cubed. So we do S equals three and then P is Q divided by six. So we have to plug in this for P. So then it'll be Q divided by six minus two Q. Next step, we have to distribute three to the Q divided by six. So this will be three Q divided by six minus two Q. We know three divided by six is one half. So we're gonna have one half Q minus two Q. Uh, to make it easier for ourselves, we are gonna turn this two, two Q into a fraction. So it'll be S equals one Q divided by two minus two over one Q. Uh, it's a fraction, so we have to have a common denominator. So we're gonna times this by two top by two, so then we have S equals one Q over two minus four. Four Q divided by two, so then you have S equals negative three Q over two. That's the answer.